Right. So, if you're like me, and you've been having pretty good performance issues with the Phoenix uh, 319, 320, and 21, and Microsoft Flight Sim 2024, um, this video should help you quite a bit. Um, so, I found a couple things which are really going to help sort of the, the plane operate the way it pretty much the way it did in 2020. Um, one of the main things, the first things I did um, was go into my Phoenix installer and delete both because I have the 319.21 expansion and the 320. Delete all of them. Uninstall them and then reinstall them. For some reason that helped like a lot. Um, and I know that beforehand it would just completely kill my system when I was on the ground before I even got it up and going like with no traffic with nothing and with the uh, auto LOD you know application running uh, with like the TLOD set to 10 or something ridiculous it would still just bog my system out like crazy so delete them reinstall them and I will say right now I'm sitting at 51 FPS, you can see the bottom right corner. Whenever I'm not recording and putting more stress on my CPU, I'm at 60. Solid 60. Um, which is on the ground and in the air, which is crazy. But anyway, um, you're going to have to make sacrifices. So right now, these are my settings. I'm on a TV. I've got a 3060 Ti and a Ryzen 5 5600. So a very solid mid higher end of mid-level system nothing insane um, but um, as you can see I'm in 4k I'm obviously using DLSS I have a 4k TV which DLSS is a lot better utilized on than a than a you know a monitor you get a lot less ghosting and whatnot but anyway the two setting or the here's all the settings I've done that I have to lower to operate the Phoenix in a beautiful way. Uh, trees. Trees, as low as you can stand them. In the, in the airliners, you're not going to see them that much at all. So medium's just fine for me. Buildings, I can't tell the difference in the air. I always keep that on low. Um, plants low, doesn't do anything. Rocks, whatever. Grass high, I do like. Um, but I change the trees to medium. Clouds on high, because that's a big deal for me. Um, texture resolution low, um, and when you're playing in higher resolutions, the texture resolution isn't very noticeable at all. This is off. I have it on in my uh, NVIDIA control panel. Anyway, but the main things that really helped were the contact shadows off. It's a slight difference, and honestly, I can't notice it. If you showed me side by side, I could probably maybe pick the one out that has it. But if you just showed me the thing, I'd go, it looks like Flight Sim. Looks beautiful. You know, I, I wouldn't be able to tell, genuinely. Um, contact shadows off. That frees up your CPU. And then also, object level of detail, as low as you can fathom. Mine is 10 because I don't care. It doesn't bother me. In having it that low, and then my TLOD is at 85 and that'll change with my altitude with the auto LOD. I could go higher, and I will as I gain altitude. Anyway, but the object level of detail, I don't care. I don't give an S word, uh, so don't give me no S word. Um, doesn't bother me. So go as low as you can, because that's a big CPU one, too. You always hear about TLOD, which is true, but OLOD and contact shadows, at least in 2024, make a huge difference. So go as low as you can. When you're flying the Phoenix, that's the other thing. Get used to changing settings if you're flying a demanding plane. You're never going to find a full set unless you have a super nice PC, which most of us don't. I mean, look at the name of my channel. That's why you're here. You're not going to find a full setting that you'll never mess with. Um, that's just a hunch of mine. Maybe you're different. But for me... If I'm in a, a 152 
I'll bump up the trees to high, you know, the clouds to ultra. Really enjoy my VFR stuff. And if I'm in IFR, I'll bump a couple settings down, you know, because normally I'm in quality DLSS in 4K with high trees, you know, that kind of stuff. But for the Phoenix, I have to, until it's fixed, this is what we must do. Um, everything else is just what I have. So main thing is contact shadows. Um, uh, what was the other one? TLD, of course. And the main thing is deleting it, reinstalling it. I do have the beta, so that's something to, to note. And also, make enough room to have 64-ish, I mean, a, a, as much as you can, gigabytes of rolling cache. Because I, I didn't think of this before, but it's, it's a streaming setup with the game, and the planes are going to take a good bit. The environment, obviously, is going to take a good bit. So the more rolling cache you can have, honestly, I might go up. I'll go up to like 75 to 80. Um, and I'm so close to deleting 2020. I haven't got there yet mentally, but when I do, I'll even bump it up more. And that may not be even doing anything. But the more rolling cache, at least at 64, is going to be smoother, less issues. So definitely do that. But, yeah, those are my tips, okay? Um, that's what I've found to work the best for me. And, uh, yeah. And like I said, when I am not recording, uh -oh, when I'm not recording, I'm at completely solid 60 FPS. Um, oh, even when I am recording, I think 53, 54, to record 1440 is pretty fine with me. Um not going to complain, but I can finally fly the 321 now. So that's my tips. Now I'm just going to gush. I've only been able to fly the 319 for so long, and I could barely even manage that. For some reason, it would just bend my system over and lock it up. It was like jujitsu. My system would just tap constantly with the little B-word he is. And I could never enjoy the Phoenix. So I started dabbling in the any builds, and it, that's great. But it's not Phoenix, if you know what I mean. So I missed it. And now we're back, baby, and it feels amazing. And yeah, you lower some settings, but when I'm in the, the Cub, or up, oh, my lights are still on. Uh, when I'm in any other plane, the Learjet, CJ, anything, I'll bump those settings back up. I think this is a perfectly great experience. It's 4K for me, 1440 for you. Uh, I can go on fast with this. I have enough overhead. And with the object's level of detail being as low as it is, coming, you know, into land, I don't really have much that I'm fully loading. I can have a, an airport full of VAT sim. This on with the object, or the, uh, what is it? Auto, or dynamic LOD is what the application's called. Here, I'll show you. With uh, dynamic LOD running, that's going to handle everything I need. I can go on VAT sim. I don't have to worry about messing with different stuff. I'm having a good time, is what I'm saying. So try these out if you're having issues with the Phoenix. I think most of my issues were CPU related, and I didn't even know that. Uh, I always, always, always think it's my GPU. When in flight sim, 90% of the time I'm finding out it's CPU being main thread limited. Even in 24, they said they were going to fix it, and I don't really think they did. But, um, target CPU intensive settings, even if it shows your CPU usage halfway, it's not, it's, it's going off the whole when flight sim 2020 and 24 use primarily one core. And it's not going to give you, I don't know how, there may be a way, but I don't know how to show just that one core, so when you think it's 48%, it's probably 97, you know, something like that. And I always think it's my GPU messing up, but it's my CPU. So lower CPU intensive things, and you'll find just so much stability. Like doing this before would have just, I don't even want to say the graphic thing that it would do to my CPU or to my PC. So give that a shot. Go bananas. Enjoy the 321 if you got it. And uh, just let it all, let it all loose. You know what I'm saying? Go fly.